Ghost ships are usually found soon after the vessel is reported missing, but for the Jenny, a 19th century English schooner, her crew weren't discovered until many, many years later. Yet the crew, the legend goes, were dead but perfectly preserved. Is there truth to this arctic legend, or is it another rumor passed down from sailor to sailor, port to port? Today we're going to lay the mystery to rest, so join us as we investigate the last voyage of the ghost ship Jenny. 1822. The two-mast vessel leaves the Isle of Wight, a small island in the English Channel. Its destination was Antarctica, no doubt for whaling, although records of the ship are scant. But not long after going over the horizon, the ship was reported missing. It hadn't docked anywhere for over a year, and there had been no sightings for months. Was it possible that the ship had sunk or been knocked off course? Expeditions to the poles are not as common as ships on trading routes, but it wasn't impossible for whaling boats to pass each other on the open waters. But without recent news of the Jenny, the worst was presumed. The crew were feared to have drowned with the sinking of the boat, perhaps due to rough weather or a collision with an iceberg. As the years went on and family of the men on board were not reunited with their loved ones, the reality started to set in that something dreadful had happened to these men. Time passed, yet the Jenny did not appear on the horizon of British shores, and so it was accepted everyone was dead. But this narrative was rejected by Captain Brighton of the boat Hope. Having been an experienced whaling ship, the Hope lived up to its namesake by believing the Jenny was safe, most likely trapped in an ice wall. Such an obstacle was not uncommon for ships in this region, and her crew would be familiar with how to survive on the ice if breaking it was not possible. Granted, the many years of her absence would mean the men would have had to survive on glaciers for a long, long time. But with a large stock of provisions and plenty of fish to catch, and even the chance of encountering Eskimo villagers, it wasn't completely out of the question. After all, many a sailor had heard stories of men stranded on desert islands having to overcome incredible odds until rescue arrived. Captain Brighton's hunch would be confirmed a year later in 1823, when the Hope was traveling through what is known as the Drake Passage, a body of water between the bottom tip of Chile and the top of a peninsula in Antarctica. It is considered one of the most treacherous voyages a ship could ever make, owing to the fact that water currents meet no resistance from any landmass and waves can reach as high as 40 feet. You can understand why it has the reputation as the most powerful convergence of seas. This would explain the surprise of the hope to discover a ship bobbing on the ice water, seemingly intact. Getting closer, they realize the battered ship was indeed the Jenny the same vessel which had disappeared almost seven whole years earlier, and the same vessel they had hoped to encounter. But it was the sight of sailors lined up on the deck that gave them even more hope. No doubt Captain Brighton and his men would return as heroes for saving this missing crew. However, as they got closer, they started to sense something was strange. The men on the Jenny did not engage with the hope, even after the two ships got closer, and even after crew called out to them. It was odd, to say the least. Here they were, face to face with men, yet, no matter what they did, they could get no response from them. The only way to get an answer was to board the ship. Captain Brighton climbed aboard, without any assistance from the men on the deck above. His own crew watched him scale the vessel, and waited eagerly for what would happen once their leader reached the lip of the deck. But once his feet touched down, his men saw nothing. The Jenny's crew continued to stand there. Captain Brighton, too, was confused. But as he approached these attentive men, the horror finally dawned on him. The crew of the Jenny had frozen to death and were stuck in their last positions. The deckhands were standing, the dog was still curled up, and most disturbingly of all, the captain of the Jenny had died in the midst of writing in the logbook. The pen was still in his hand. Everyone was dead, but perfectly preserved. Upon going below deck to the captain's quarters, Brighton discovered the final thing the captain of the Jenny had written. May 4th, 1823. No food for 71 days. I am the only one left alive. According to this entry, everyone else, the crew, the captain's wife, had been dead all this time. Their corpses frozen in place for years on end. As the crew of the Hope explored the ship to gather what information they could, it was decided that they should take the captain's log and return it to the ship's owner. This would end the mystery and give answers to the loved ones back home who had not known of their relative's fate. But there remained one final difficult question. 
what to do with the corpses. Would it be expected of them to bring the bodies back, knowing that they would thaw over the many months? Or perhaps they should bury the crew at sea, the standard send-off for any sailor who perished on open waters. Instead, they decided, perhaps out of fear and superstition, to leave them as they were. And so, the Hope raised anchor and left the Drake Passage, leaving Jenny to rock on the waves until she finally disappeared from view over the curve of the horizon. Though it was possible another ship might encounter her, the lack of any subsequent news or newspaper articles would confirm that the Hope were the last to ever see the crew of the Jenny. As for what happened to the ship, it's possible that the weather of the Drake Passage turned and finally sunk the vessel, sending all on board to the bottom of the ocean. But there's another possibility. The ice eventually broke, and the Jenny drifted with its crew of frozen corpses. And had it indeed sailed into the night manned by dead bodies, then it was truly a ghost ship. Despite the many newspaper articles reporting the discovery, some historians have cast doubt over the testimonies of the Hope. Some articles record the captain's final entry as January, while other timelines shift a few years between the date of her disappearance and date of her discovery. But for some involved with nautical life, especially those with the experience of surviving the Drake Passage, the story is true. In Antarctica, roughly in the area the Jenny was said to have been found, is a rock buttress just north of Melville Peak overlooking Destruction Bay. In 1960, 120 years after the perfectly preserved bodies were said to have been found, the United Kingdom Antarctica Place Names Committee dubbed this rock formation the Jenny Buttress to commemorate those lives claimed by the ice-cold sea. Clearly, there was something about the story they wanted to keep alive. The memory of the victims, perhaps? Or a warning about traversing dangerous seas? In any case, if you're ever on a whaling expedition south of Chile, or perhaps sailing through the wider ocean, keep your ears open for the sound of creaking wood and flapping sails, because you just might become the final person to bear witness to the ghost ship Jenny. No doubt you have your own research to contribute, so please share your discoveries, or doubts, in the comments below. If you'd like us to do more videos on nautical legends, then please leave a like, and don't forget to share this with a fan of ghost stories. And as always, subscribe to the channel to be notified of our next video. Sweet dreams.